The universe, vast and enigmatic, had always been a source of wonder for Captain Alex Mercer. A seasoned explorer of the cosmos, Mercer had encountered wonders and horrors alike in the endless expanse of space. Yet, nothing could have prepared him for the devastating news that awaited him upon his return from the latest reconnaissance mission in the outer sectors. It was a day like any other when Mercer docked his ship, the Celestial Nomad, at the Alliance's Outer Rim Station. The hustle and bustle of the station, a melting pot of species and cultures from across the galaxy, usually filled him with a sense of belonging. Today, however, the atmosphere was different. A palpable tension hung in the air, an ominous silence that seemed to muffle the usual cacophony of interstellar commerce and communication. As Mercer made his way through the crowded corridors, he noticed the sidelong glances and hushed whispers that followed in his wake. Something was amiss, but before he could ponder further, he was intercepted by Lieutenant Kara Jensen, his second-in-command. The look on her face, a mask of solemnity and sorrow, stopped him in his tracks. Captain, you need to see this, Jensen said, her voice barely above a whisper. She handed him a data pad, her hand trembling slightly. The screen flickered to life, displaying a series of images and reports that sent a chill down Mercer's spine. The peaceful human colony of New Eden, a verdant jewel in the vast void, had been reduced to ashes. The Gavra Empire, known for their ruthless expansionism and disdain for human territories, had launched a surprise attack that left no survivors. The images on the screen depicted a nightmare, scorched landscapes, ruins where vibrant communities once thrived, and hauntingly, no sign of life. Mercer's heart sank as he scrolled through the report, each word a dagger to his soul. New Eden had been more than just another colony to him, it had been home. The place where he had spent his childhood, where his family, his parents, his sister, and her two little ones had chosen to live a life of peace away from the front lines. The realization hit him like a physical blow. His family, his friends, everyone he had ever known and loved on New Eden were gone. Extinguished in a senseless act of aggression that defied all codes of interstellar conduct and decency. For a long moment, Mercer stood frozen, the data pad clutched in his hand as the world around him seemed to blur and fade. Jensen placed a tentative hand on his shoulder, a silent gesture of comfort in the face of unspeakable loss. The grief that welled up within him was quickly tempered by a rising tide of anger. The Gavra Empire had not only taken his family but had also declared war on humanity by targeting an unarmed and defenseless colony. It was a massacre, a cold-blooded extermination of innocent lives. Mercer's military training and years of command had instilled in him a sense of duty and resilience. As the initial shock subsided, replaced by a steely resolve, he knew what he had to do. The Gavra Empire had to be held accountable for their atrocities. Justice, however distant or difficult it might be to achieve, was the only path forward. Turning to Jensen, Mercer's eyes burned with a fierce determination that left no room for doubt. Assemble the crew, he commanded, his voice steady despite the turmoil that raged within. We have a mission. The catastrophe that unfolded on New Eden was not just a personal tragedy for Captain Alex Mercer, it was a clarion call to action. A call that he and those who would stand with him could not ignore. Together, they would embark on a perilous journey, one fueled by the dual flames of grief and retribution. As Mercer prepared to set course for the heart of the conflict, he knew the road ahead would be fraught with danger and moral ambiguity. Yet, the memory of New Eden and the countless lives snuffed out in an instant would serve as a beacon guiding him through the darkness. In the vast tapestry of the cosmos, where light and shadow dance in eternal interplay, the tragedy of New Eden would mark the beginning of a saga that would test the very limits of humanity's resilience and resolve. A saga where the echoes of vengeance would resound across the stars, heralding a storm that could reshape the galaxy itself. In the aftermath of the New Eden massacre, Captain Alex Mercer found himself standing before a crossroads not just in his career but in the very essence of his being. The decision to seek justice for the fallen, to stand against the tyranny of the Gavra Empire, was one that required more than just a single individual's resolve. It necessitated a crew, a band of individuals united not by rank or duty, 
but by a shared sense of loss and a burning desire for retribution. The task of assembling such a crew was daunting. Mercer knew that the path he was about to embark upon lay outside the bounds of official alliance command. This was a personal vendetta, one that treaded the fine line between justice and vengeance. He needed warriors, tacticians, and survivors, those who had seen the darkness of the galaxy and were willing to plunge back into it for the sake of a cause that transcended individual grief. Mercer's reputation as a seasoned captain and a strategist of the highest caliber preceded him, drawing the attention of many within the fringes of Alliance space. The first to join him was Lieutenant Kara Jensen, his loyal second-in-command, who had seen the anguish in Mercer's eyes and understood the depth of his loss. Her skills in combat and unwavering loyalty made her an indispensable ally in the uncertain journey ahead. Next to join was Thane Krios, a former Alliance engineer turned rogue after the loss of his own colony to the Gavra's relentless expansion. Thane's expertise with technology and his intimate understanding of Gavra machinery made him a valuable asset, one fueled by his own simmering rage against the Empire that had taken everything from him. From the shadows of the galaxy came Zara Vox, a skilled bounty hunter with a mysterious past. Her reasons for joining Mercer's crew were her own, but her prowess in tracking and eliminating high-value targets was unquestioned. In her, Mercer saw not just a formidable fighter, but a survivor who had weathered the galaxy's darkest storms. The crew was further bolstered by the addition of Dr. Ilara Tsoni, a brilliant xenobiologist who had once offered her expertise to peacekeeping missions on the border worlds. The destruction of New Eden had shattered her belief in a peaceful coexistence with the Gavra, driving her to lend her scientific acumen to Mercer's cause. As word of Mercer's mission spread, others began to emerge from the woodwork of the galaxy's far-flung corners. There was Ren Tarek, a grizzled veteran whose family had been caught in the crossfire of a Gavra raid and whose expertise in guerrilla warfare would prove invaluable in the coming skirmishes. And then there was Silas Vec, a former Gavra slave who had managed to escape the Empire's clutches, bearing not only the scars of his captivity but also insider knowledge of Gavra operations and tactics. Each member of the crew brought with them a story of loss and a burning desire for justice. Together, they formed a mosaic of the galaxy's pain and resilience, a testament to the indomitable spirit of those who refused to be crushed by tyranny. As the Celestial Nomad prepared to set sail, Mercer addressed his assembled crew. His words were not of grandeur or glory but of the raw, unvarnished truth. This mission was not sanctioned by the Alliance. It was a path fraught with peril, one that offered no guarantee of success or even survival. Yet, it was a path that held the promise of justice, not just for the souls of New Eden, but for all who had suffered under the Gavra's yoke. The response from the crew was unanimous. In their eyes, Mercer saw the reflection of his own determination, a shared resolve that transcended species and backgrounds. They were not just a crew, they were a family forged in the crucible of loss, united in their pursuit of a cause greater than any one of them. As the celestial nomad broke orbit, leaving the safety of Alliance space behind, Mercer knew that the journey ahead would test them in ways they could scarcely imagine. Yet, in the hearts of his crew, he saw the flickering flames of hope, a beacon in the darkness that promised no matter the odds, they would stand together, undaunted, until the very end. The celestial nomad, now a vessel carrying the weight of vengeance and the light of hope, glided silently through the sea of stars. Captain Alex Mercer, with his newly formed crew of disparate souls united by a common cause, set their sights on their first objective, a Gavra supply depot located in the shadowy fringes of the Nebula of Tears. This depot, a lifeline for the Gavra war machine, was about to become the first symbol of humanity's resistance against the Empire's tyranny. The plan was simple yet audacious. Infiltrate the depot, sabotage the supply lines, and send a clear message to the Gavra Empire. Humanity would not cower in the face of their aggression. Mercer knew the risks involved. A direct confrontation with the Gavra forces guarding the depot could be catastrophic for his inexperienced crew. Stealth and precision were paramount. Under the cover of the nebula's dense gas clouds, the celestial nomad approached the depot. 
The silence aboard the ship was palpable, a stark contrast to the storm of emotions brewing within each crew member. Lieutenant Kara Jensen coordinated the infiltration teams, each member handpicked for their specific skills and unyielding resolve. Thane Krios, the engineer with the Vendetta, led the charge in disabling the depot's security systems. His hands moved with practiced ease, a dance of defiance against the Empire that had taken so much from him. Meanwhile, Zara Vox, the enigmatic bounty hunter, prowled the shadows, neutralizing any Gavra patrols with silent precision. As the security systems flickered and died, Dr. Ilara Tsoni and Ren Tarek planted explosive charges at critical junctures, ensuring that the depot's operational capabilities would be crippled for months to come. Silas Vec, the former Gavra slave, served as their guide, his intimate knowledge of Gavra architecture turning the labyrinthine depot into a familiar grid they could navigate with confidence. The strike was executed flawlessly. As the charges detonated, painting the nebula with flashes of destructive beauty, the celestial nomad made its escape, leaving chaos and confusion in its wake. The explosion served as a beacon, a fiery testament to the resilience of those who had been wronged by the Gavra Empire. The news of the attack spread like wildfire across the galaxy. Hushed whispers in the dark corners of space stations and bars spoke of a human captain and his ragtag crew who had dared to strike back against the Gavra. Mercer's name became a symbol of hope for the oppressed, a rallying cry for those who yearned for freedom from the Empire's iron grip. But the first strike was more than just a military success. It was a moral victory. It galvanized the crew of the Celestial Nomad, binding them closer together in their shared quest for justice. Each member saw in the other the reflection of their own loss and the burning desire to ensure that such atrocities would never be repeated. Mercer, witnessing the unity and determination of his crew, felt a surge of pride. They were no longer just survivors of the Gavra's cruelty. They were warriors in the truest sense, fighting not for revenge but for a future where no one would have to endure the pain they had suffered. The first strike marked the beginning of their campaign against the Gavra Empire, a journey fraught with danger and uncertainty. Yet, in the hearts of Mercer and his crew, there was no room for doubt. They had taken their first step into the abyss, armed with the knowledge that their cause was just and their resolve unbreakable. As the Celestial Nomad set its course towards their next target, the crew knew that their fight had only just begun. The road ahead would be perilous, but together, they were a beacon of defiance in the dark expanse of space, a reminder that even in the face of overwhelming darkness, the light of hope could never be extinguished. The aftermath of the daring raid on the Gavra Supply Depot sent ripples across the galaxy, stirring the stagnant waters of fear and resignation that had long held sway over the oppressed species under Gavra Dominion. The successful strike by Captain Alex Mercer and his crew aboard the Celestial Nomad became a beacon of defiance, a spark that ignited the flames of rebellion in the hearts of those who had suffered in silence for too long. News of the attack spread from system to system, carried by traitors, refugees, and the clandestine networks of the resistance movements. The tale of a human captain and his diverse crew taking a stand against the Gavra Empire's might inspired a wave of newfound courage among the downtrodden populations. In the dingy bars of remote outposts and the shadowed corridors of occupied planets, whispered conversations turned into heated debates about rising up and joining the fight. The Gavra Empire, for all its military might and ruthlessness, found itself facing an enemy it could not easily crush, the indomitable spirit of the people it sought to subjugate. Small acts of sabotage and defiance began to crop up within its territories, each one a testament to the growing unrest and the influence of Mercer's bold action. Amidst this burgeoning chaos, alliances began to form among the most unlikely of partners. Races that had once viewed each other with suspicion, their relations strained by years of Gavra manipulation and propaganda, now found common ground in their shared desire for freedom. The Celestial Nomad's crew, a microcosm of this newfound unity, served as a symbol of what could be achieved when disparate beings united for a cause greater than themselves. Captain Mercer, aware of the growing momentum, knew that the time was ripe to strike yet another blow against the Gavra Empire. 
However, he also understood the delicate balance that needed to be maintained. A galaxy in turmoil could easily descend into chaos if the burgeoning rebellion was not guided with a steady hand. The goal was not just to defeat the Gavra but to lay the groundwork for a new order that would ensure peace and cooperation among the galaxy's diverse inhabitants. The Celestial Nomad became not just a ship of war but a vessel of diplomacy, navigating the complex web of interstellar politics and alliances. Mercer and his crew engaged in covert operations that bolstered the resistance movements, providing them with intelligence, resources, and, most importantly, hope. But the Gavra Empire was not idle. Alarmed by the threat to their dominance, they tightened their grip on the territories still under their control, enacting harsher measures and increasing their military presence. The galaxy stood on the brink of a full-scale war, a conflict that could engulf countless worlds and lead to unimaginable destruction. In this time of escalating tension, Mercer's leadership was tested as never before. Balancing the need for decisive action against the Gavra with the imperative to protect innocent lives and foster unity among the allied species required more than just military acumen. It demanded a deep understanding of the galaxy's intricate social fabric and the ability to inspire and lead not just a crew, but a movement. As the Celestial Nomad continued its campaign against the Gavra, its missions grew increasingly daring, targeting key installations and engaging enemy forces in skirmishes that tested the crew's skills and resolve. With each victory, the legend of Mercer and his band of rebels grew, drawing more supporters to their cause. Yet, with each strike against the Gavra, the stakes grew higher. The Empire, in its desperation, began to retaliate with brutal force, targeting not just the rebels but any who dared to harbor them. Worlds were plunged into fear, their populations caught between the hammer of Gavra retribution and the anvil of the burgeoning rebellion. The galaxy was in turmoil, its fate hanging in the balance. Mercer and his crew, once mere specks in the vast expanse of space, had become the fulcrum upon which the future would turn. The path ahead was fraught with danger, but in the hearts of those who yearned for freedom, the celestial nomad was a symbol of hope, a promise that the darkness of tyranny could be banished by the light of unity and courage. The tides of rebellion swelled across the galaxy, with Captain Alex Mercer and his intrepid crew aboard the Celestial Nomad at the heart of the uprising against the Gavra Empire. Each victory, each liberated world, fanned the flames of hope among the oppressed. Yet, amidst this burgeoning revolution, a shadow loomed on the horizon, a threat so grave it threatened to extinguish the light of resistance in an instant. Deep within the encrypted channels of the Resistance's intelligence network, a chilling discovery was made. The Gavra Empire, in its desperation to quell the uprising, had unveiled its most terrifying weapon yet, a superweapon capable of annihilating entire planets with a single, devastating strike. This ultimate weapon, hidden within the darkest reaches of Gavra space, was the Empire's final gambit, a means to instill fear and submission through sheer, unmatched destruction. The revelation of this doomsday device sent shockwaves through the ranks of the rebels. The stakes had suddenly escalated beyond the scope of battles and skirmishes. They were now fighting to prevent a catastrophe that could obliterate the very fabric of civilized space. The balance of power, already precarious, teetered on the brink of disaster. Mercer, ever the strategist, understood the gravity of the situation. The existence of such a weapon not only posed an existential threat to their cause but to every living being in the galaxy. The Celestial Nomad and its crew, once hunters, had now become the hunted, the only force standing between the Gavra Empire and its genocidal ambition. The captain convened an emergency meeting with his crew, laying bare the grim reality of their predicament. The room, usually filled with the vibrant energy of diverse beings united in purpose, was now shrouded in a heavy silence, each member grappling with the magnitude of the task ahead. The revelation of the superweapon was a stark reminder of the lengths to which the Gavra Empire would go to maintain its dominion over the stars. Determined not to let despair take hold, Mercer rallied his crew with a stirring speech, reminding them of the victories they had already achieved against seemingly insurmountable odds. This weapon, he declared, is the embodiment of their fear, fear of us, fear of change, fear of a galaxy where all beings are free to chart their own destinies. 
We have faced the darkness before, and we will do so again, together. The plan to neutralize the superweapon was fraught with peril, requiring a daring infiltration into the heart of Gavra-controlled space. Every member of the Celestial Nomad knew the risks involved. This mission could very well be their last. Yet, in the face of such overwhelming odds, their resolve only hardened. The crew's diverse talents and unyielding spirit had seen them through countless challenges, and this would be their greatest test. As preparations for the mission commenced, the Celestial Nomad became a hive of activity. Engineers and tech specialists, led by Thane Krios, worked tirelessly to enhance the ship's stealth capabilities and defenses. Dr. Ilara Sony delved into the ancient technologies that might hold the key to disabling the superweapon, while Zara Vox and Ren Tarek honed their combat skills, readying for the inevitable confrontation with the Gavra's elite forces. The galaxy watched with bated breath as the Celestial Nomad set course for the Gavra stronghold, a lone beacon of defiance speeding towards the heart of darkness. Mercer and his crew were not just fighting for their lives, they were fighting for the future of a free galaxy. As the ship slipped silently through the void, cloaked in the shadows of nebulas and asteroid fields, the crew shared a quiet moment of solidarity. They were more than a crew, they had become a family bound by a shared mission that transcended personal vendettas and past grievances. Together, they faced the unknown, ready to confront the ultimate manifestation of the Gavra's cruelty. The mission to dismantle the superweapon was not just a military operation. It was a statement, a declaration that the spirit of freedom and unity could not be crushed, even in the face of annihilation. For Mercer and his crew, the journey ahead was not just about survival. It was about ensuring that the light of hope, once kindled, would never be extinguished. As the celestial nomad hurtled through the vast expanse of space, Captain Alex Mercer and his crew were acutely aware that every passing moment brought the galaxy closer to the brink of unimaginable catastrophe. The existence of the Gavra Empire's superweapon, capable of erasing entire worlds from the cosmic map, had turned their mission into a desperate race against time. The stakes were higher than ever, failure would not merely mean the loss of their lives, but potentially the annihilation of countless innocents. The atmosphere aboard the Celestial Nomad was tense, a palpable sense of urgency permeating every deck of the ship. Thing Krios and Dr. Ilara Tsoni pored over ancient star maps and decrypted enemy communications, searching for any clue that might reveal the location of the superweapon. Meanwhile, Zara Vox and Ren Tarek led rigorous combat drills, preparing the crew for the inevitable confrontation that lay ahead. As they neared the coordinates believed to house the superweapon, the crew encountered a series of cunningly placed traps and ambushes set by the Gavra. It became clear that the Empire was aware of their intentions and was determined to halt their advance at any cost. Space mines, stealth patrols, and electromagnetic pulses sought to ensnare the Celestial Nomad, each obstacle testing the crew's resolve and ingenuity. Despite the mounting challenges, Mercer's leadership shone brightly, guiding his crew through the maelstrom of danger with a calm and decisive hand. His unwavering determination served as a beacon of hope, inspiring his team to push beyond their limits. The diverse talents of the crew, once disparate threads, were now woven into a tapestry of resilience and shared purpose. In a daring maneuver, the Celestial Nomad breached the Gavra's defenses, slipping through their net with a combination of stealth technology and audacious piloting. The crew's elation was short-lived, however, as they came upon the chilling sight of the superweapon, a colossal structure orbiting a dead star, its surface bristling with dark energy. The realization of what they faced was sobering. The weapon was not merely a tool of destruction, but a symbol of the Gavra's ruthless ambition to dominate the galaxy. Its activation sequence had already begun, its menacing hum a harbinger of doom. With time rapidly dwindling, Mercer and his crew launched their assault. Teams were deployed to key points around the structure, each tasked with a crucial role in the weapon's deactivation. Thane Krios worked feverishly to hack into the weapon's control systems, his fingers dancing across the console in a race against the clock. Simultaneously, Zara Vox and Ren Tarek led a diversionary attack, drawing the attention of the Gavra forces away from the main objective. 
Their fierce determination and skill in combat ensured that the enemy's focus remained fragmented, buying precious time for the rest of the crew. The climax of their efforts came as Dr. Ilara Tsoni, utilizing her deep knowledge of ancient technologies, identified a critical vulnerability in the weapon's design. With this insight, the team was able to initiate a sequence that would safely dismantle the superweapon's core, ensuring that its destructive power would never be unleashed. As the final seconds ticked away, the tension aboard the Celestial Nomad was almost unbearable. The fate of the galaxy hung in the balance, resting on the shoulders of this unlikely band of heroes. And then, in a moment that seemed to stretch into eternity, the hum of the superweapon fell silent, its ominous glow fading into darkness. The crew's collective sigh of relief was short-lived, however, as they realized that their actions would have dire consequences. The Gavra Empire, humiliated and enraged by the thwarting of their ultimate weapon, would undoubtedly retaliate with ferocious intensity. The galaxy was still in turmoil and the race against time had morphed into a struggle for survival. But in that moment of victory, Captain Alex Mercer and his crew stood united, a testament to the power of hope and the indomitable spirit of those who fight for justice. They had faced the abyss and emerged victorious, not just for themselves, but for all who yearned for a future free from tyranny. In the wake of their harrowing victory against the Gavra superweapon, the crew of the Celestial Nomad found themselves navigating a tumultuous sea of emotions. Relief and triumph mingled with exhaustion and the ever-looming awareness of the Empire's impending retaliation. Captain Alex Mercer, ever vigilant, sensed a subtle shift in the undercurrents aboard his ship, an intangible tension that belied the recent triumph. The diverse tapestry of the crew, once a source of strength and unity, now seemed to fray at the edges. Whispers filled the corridors and sidelong glances were exchanged as a seed of mistrust took root in the fertile ground of fatigue and stress. The revelation of a potential traitor among them came as a thunderclap in the midst of this brewing storm. It was Dr. Ilara Tsoni, the ship's xenobiologist, who first uncovered the damning evidence. A series of encrypted communications cleverly hidden within the ship's vast data networks pointed to a clandestine correspondence with the Gavra Empire. The messages were cryptic, but their implication was clear. Someone aboard the Celestial Nomad was feeding information to the enemy. The crew's reaction to the news was a maelstrom of shock, anger, and disbelief. Accusations flew like daggers, and the bonds that had been forged in the fires of shared adversity began to crack under the weight of suspicion. Mercer, understanding the corrosive nature of doubt, knew he had to act swiftly to uncover the truth and preserve the fragile unity of his crew. Summoning his senior officers to an emergency meeting, Mercer laid out the evidence with a heavy heart. The room, usually a place of lively debate and shared purpose, was now a crucible of tension. Each officer, aware of the gravity of the situation, faced the possibility that the traitor could be among them. The investigation was painstaking and thorough, led by Zara Vox, whose skills in tracking and surveillance were unparalleled. As the web of deception began to unravel, the identity of the traitor emerged from the shadows, Lieutenant Kara Jensen, Mercer's trusted second-in-command. The revelation was a gut-wrenching blow to Mercer. Jensen had been by his side through countless battles, her loyalty seemingly beyond question. Confronted with the undeniable evidence, Jensen's facade crumbled, revealing a complex tapestry of motives driven by fear, desperation, and a misguided belief that her actions could somehow avert a greater catastrophe. Jensen's confession laid bare the depth of her internal conflict. Torn between her loyalty to Mercer and her terror at the prospect of a galaxy engulfed in endless war, she had convinced herself that feeding information to the Gavra might lead to a negotiated peace. Her betrayal was not born of malice, but of a profound, tragic miscalculation. The crew's reaction to Jensen's betrayal was a kaleidoscope of emotions. Some felt anger, others pity, but all grappled with the unsettling realization that fear could drive even the most steadfast among them to desperate acts. Mercer, faced with the painful duty of passing judgment on his once-trusted friend, chose a path of compassionate justice. Jensen was confined, her fate to be decided once the immediate threat had passed. 
Mercer addressed his crew, acknowledging the pain of betrayal but emphasizing the need for understanding and forgiveness. Let this be a reminder, he said, his voice resonant with hard-earned wisdom, that we are all fallible. Fear can cloud our judgment and lead us astray, but it is how we face our mistakes and how we support each other in doing so that defines who we are. The incident served as a crucible testing the resilience and integrity of the Celestial Nomad's crew. In its aftermath, they emerged not weakened, but strengthened, their resolve fortified by the understanding that unity and trust, though fragile, are the most potent weapons against the darkness. As the Celestial Nomad continued its journey through the stars, its crew bound by a renewed sense of purpose, Mercer knew that the road ahead would be fraught with challenges. Yet, he also knew that the true strength of his crew lay not in their ability to avoid betrayal, but in their capacity to rise above it, to forgive, and to forge ahead together. The Celestial Nomad hurtled through the cosmos, its engines a low hum against the backdrop of the infinite void. Captain Alex Mercer stood at the helm, his gaze fixed on the star-strewn expanse ahead. The betrayal by Lieutenant Kara Jensen had been a stark reminder of the fragility of trust and the heavy toll of their ongoing struggle against the Gavra Empire. Yet, it had also galvanized the crew, binding them together with renewed determination and a shared resolve to see their mission through to the end. The final assault loomed on the horizon, a daring operation that would take them deep into the heart of Gavra territory. Their target was the central command hub of the Gavra military machine, a fortress bristling with defenses and teeming with the Empire's most elite forces. It was the nerve center of the Gavra's oppressive regime, and its fall would signal the beginning of the end for their tyrannical rule over the galaxy. Mercer understood the monumental challenge they faced. The fortress was a veritable labyrinth of defenses, shielded by a formidable array of energy barriers and patrolled by squadrons of advanced fighter craft. Infiltration would require more than just brute force. It demanded precision, cunning, and the coordinated effort of every member of his crew. The plan was multi-pronged, each phase meticulously designed to exploit the fortress's few vulnerabilities. Thane Krios and Dr. Ilara Tsoni worked tirelessly to develop a virus that would temporarily disable the energy barriers, providing a narrow window for the Celestial Nomad to breach the fortress's defenses. Zara Vox and Ren Tarek, leading a contingent of the crew's most skilled fighters, would spearhead the ground assault, their objective to secure the fortress's command center and disable its communication arrays effectively blinding the Gavra forces and sowing chaos within their ranks. As the Celestial Nomad approached the fortress, the tension aboard the ship was palpable, a charged atmosphere of anticipation and resolve. Mercer addressed his crew, his voice steady and imbued with the weight of the moment. This is more than just a battle, he said, it's our chance to end this war, to bring peace to a galaxy that has known too much suffering. We fight not for revenge, but for a future where freedom and justice prevail. The assault began with the precision of a well-oiled machine. Thane's virus worked flawlessly, creating a fleeting breach in the fortress's defenses that the celestial nomad slipped through with mere seconds to spare. As they penetrated the fortress's outer defenses, the ship's cannons roared to life, carving a path through the Gavra's defensive fleet. On the ground, Zara and Ren led their team with lethal efficiency, cutting through the Gavra ranks with a mix of guerrilla tactics and sheer force of will. Every corridor and chamber of the fortress became a battleground, each inch of ground fiercely contested by both sides. The climax of the assault came as Mercer and a small team, including the redeemed Kara Jensen, reached the heart of the fortress. In a confrontation fraught with danger, they faced the Gavra's elite guard in a desperate bid to take control of the command center. The battle was grueling, a maelstrom of energy blasts and close quarters combat that tested the limits of Mercer's team. But through sheer determination and the indomitable spirit of those who fight for a cause greater than themselves, they prevailed. As Mercer deactivated the fortress's command systems, a wave of relief and triumph swept over him. The Gavra's reign of terror was effectively crippled, their command hub in ruins and their forces thrown into disarray. In the aftermath of the battle, as the Celestial Nomad and its crew made their weary way back to Allied space, Mercer knew that their victory was but a step towards the greater goal of peace.
The galaxy remained a place of turmoil and uncertainty, but the fall of the Gavra Fortress was a beacon of hope, a testament to the power of unity and the unyielding spirit of those who stand against oppression. The final assault was not the end, but a new beginning, a promise of a future forged in the fires of adversity and crowned with the laurels of victory. In the wake of the Celestial Nomad's triumphant breach of the Gavra Fortress, the galaxy seemed to hold its breath, awaiting the next act in the unfolding drama of rebellion and retribution. The crippling of the Gavra Command Hub had sent shockwaves through the Empire, its ripples reaching the dark and foreboding chambers of the Warlord's stronghold. This tyrant, the architect of countless atrocities and the embodiment of Gavra oppression, now found his dominion challenged like never before. Captain Alex Mercer, with the weight of countless hopes and the ghosts of untold sorrows on his shoulders, steered the celestial nomad towards the inevitable confrontation. The Warlord, a being whose very name evoked fear and despair across the stars, awaited, entrenched in his bastion of power, surrounded by his most loyal and lethal guardians. As the celestial nomad approached the stronghold, an eerie calm settled over the crew. The battles fought, the losses endured, and the victories snatched from the jaws of defeat had all led to this moment. Mercer, understanding the monumental nature of the confrontation ahead, gathered his crew for one final address. This showdown, he began, his voice resonant with the gravity of their undertaking, is not merely a clash of arms. It is the culmination of our fight for justice, for the countless lives extinguished by the warlord's cruelty. We fight in their memory for a future free from the shadow of tyranny. The Celestial Nomad penetrated the stronghold's defenses with a combination of cunning, skill, and sheer audacity. Mercer, leading a select team of his most trusted comrades, navigated the labyrinthine corridors of the fortress, each step bringing them closer to the heart of darkness where the warlord awaited. The air was thick with anticipation as they breached the throne room, a vast, imposing chamber where the warlord sat upon his throne of bones, a grotesque monument to his reign of terror. His eyes, cold and merciless, fixed upon Mercer and his team, a sneer curling his lips as he rose to meet them. You come seeking death, human, the warlord boomed, his voice echoing off the ancient stone. You shall find it here. The ensuing battle was epic, a clash of wills and weapons that would be sung of in the annals of the galaxy's history. Mercer and his team fought with a ferocity born of righteous anger, each strike a blow for freedom. The warlord, for all his strength and malice, found himself matched at every turn, his blows parried, his tactics countered. As the battle raged, Mercer found himself locked in a deadly duel with the warlord, their weapons a blur of motion as they traded blow for blow. The warlord's strength was immense, his skill honed in countless battles, but Mercer fought with the heart of a lion, driven by the memories of those he had lost and the unbreakable will to end the warlord's reign of bloodshed. In the end, it was a moment of distraction, a fleeting lapse in the warlord's otherwise impenetrable defense that gave Mercer his opening. With a cry that echoed the pain and defiance of a galaxy long oppressed, Mercer struck the decisive blow his weapon piercing the warlord's armor and finding its mark. As the warlord fell, his tyrannical grip on the galaxy loosening with his final breath, a profound silence descended upon the throne room. Mercer and his team, battered but unbowed, stood amidst the carnage, the weight of their achievements settling upon them. The showdown with the warlord was more than a victory. It was a turning point, a signal to the oppressed peoples of the galaxy that the darkness could be pushed back, that freedom was worth fighting for. The Celestial Nomad's crew, once a band of misfits and outcasts, had become heroes of a new age, their names forever inscribed in the annals of galactic history. As they made their way back to the Celestial Nomad, Mercer knew that the road ahead would still be fraught with challenges. The Warlord's fall would leave a power vacuum, and the galaxy's path to peace was still uncertain. Yet, in this moment of triumph, there was hope, a beacon shining brightly in the vast expanse of space, guiding the way towards a brighter future. With the fall of the Warlord, the Celestial Nomad set a course back towards the heart of the Alliance, carrying with it the news that would forever alter the course of galactic history. The stronghold, once a symbol of fear and subjugation, now stood as a testament to the resilience and courage of those who dared to defy tyranny.
Captain Alex Mercer, his crew, and their ship had become legends, their names whispered with reverence and all on countless worlds. The journey back was a time for reflection, a chance for the crew to come to terms with the enormity of what they had achieved and the cost at which it had come. They had faced the abyss, walked through fire, and emerged not just victorious but transformed. The bonds forged in the crucible of battle were unbreakable, each member of the crew forever a part of a family united by a shared purpose and a common destiny. As the celestial nomad approached Alliance space, a flotilla of ships from a myriad of races and worlds greeted them, a vivid mosaic of the galaxy's diversity. This was no mere military escort but a welcoming committee, a collective expression of gratitude from the countless lives touched by their bravery. The celebrations that followed were unlike anything the galaxy had seen, a jubilant expanse of light and color that spanned worlds and systems. Mercer and his crew were hailed as heroes, the architects of a new era of peace and cooperation. Yet, amidst the festivities, there was a palpable sense of solemnity, a collective acknowledgement of the sacrifices made to reach this point. In the aftermath of the victory, as the initial euphoria gave way to the daunting task of rebuilding, Mercer found himself at a crossroads. He had become a symbol of hope, a leader whose actions had irrevocably changed the galaxy. Yet, within him, there was a yearning for peace, a desire to lay down the mantle of warrior and embrace a life unmarred by conflict. The celestial nomad underwent a transformation of its own, from a vessel of war to a ship of exploration and diplomacy. Its mission now was to traverse the newly unified galaxy, to mend the wounds of war and foster ties between former foes. Mercer, with the wisdom gained through trials and tribulations, led this mission, his crew by his side, each member embarking on their own journey of healing and discovery. The peace that followed was not without its challenges. Old grudges and mistrust lingered, and the vacuum left by the warlord's fall invited new threats and power struggles. Yet, the legacy of the Celestial Nomad and its crew served as a beacon, guiding the galaxy towards a future where dialogue triumphed over discord, where unity was forged from diversity. In this new dawn, Mercer found a different kind of fulfillment, a sense of purpose that transcended the battlefield. He had witnessed the darkest depths of despair and the most radiant peaks of triumph, and through it all, he had remained steadfast, a guardian of the light. As the years passed, the saga of the celestial nomad became the stuff of legend, a tale told to inspire hope and courage in the face of adversity. Mercer, once a soldier, had become a symbol of the enduring spirit of humanity and its capacity for greatness. The new dawn that broke over the galaxy was not just a cessation of hostilities but a promise of a brighter future, a testament to the power of the indomitable will to seek out the light even in the darkest of times. And as the celestial nomad sailed through the stars, its journey was a reminder that even the longest night must give way to the dawn, and from the ashes of conflict, a new world could be born.